Hey friends, welcome back. So in today's video, we're talking about the new Brunswick Critical Pilot Project, which is actually the first of its kind immigration project between the new Brunswick Provisional Government and the federal government. Now, the program is unique in the fact that it seeks to actually not just provide economic immigration to New Brunswick, but also to help newcomers retention to that area by providing sentiment services for immigrants. Now, this program was launched on the 7th of November 2022. That it was launched in an attempt to address the key labor shortages in New Brunswick. Now, the pilot program is going to be working with six selected employers to help fill labor gaps in several industries from manufacturing to fishery, food production, forestry, farming and more. Now these employers will have the flexibility to provide skill and language training to the recruited applicants. Now this pilot is going to be regularly monitored and reviewed every five years now to ensure that it yields the necessary results now which are newcomer retention, economic contribution and also helping newcomers settle and establish their lives in the province. So in support of the new immigrant settlement, the six businesses selected must ensure that they have a robust settlement plans for housing and transportation to support the successful establishment of candidates in their new jobs and communities with a strong commitment to long-term retention. It must also ensure that they have comprehensive human resource plans for recruiting and hiring skilled international talents. They will also offer guidance and support candidates who may wish to pursue their Canadian secondary education equivalent. And for one-on-one -on -one skill enhancement, they'll provide up to 200 hours of language training and offer to support to applicants who may wish to upgrade their um, education in Canada. Isn't this just exciting? Now, the six employers are Cook Aquaculture Inc., Group Savoir, Group West Co., Imperial Manufacturing, JV Ivan Limited, and McCain Foods. New Brunswick is actually currently focusing on processing Canada immigration applications for um, technology and health related occupations and internationally graduates in the province to help tackle its backlog. Now the province is also prioritizing applications from uh, like 12 um, specific uh, national occupational classification NOC codes now plus the francophone communities and the New Brunswick graduates. And the 12 NOC codes being prioritized are technology occupations that computer engineers except software engineers and designers, database analysts and data administrators, software engineers and designers, computer programmers and interactive media developers, web designers and developers, computer network technicians, user support technicians, information systems testing technicians. Then the health related um, occupation, they include registered nurses and registered psychiatric nurses, licensed practical nurses, nurse aides and orderlies, and patient service associates. Home support workers, housekeepers and related occupations. Now, if candidates don't fall into one of these categories, the province actually guides applicants towards the Atlantic Immigration Program. So there are a lot of programs the New Brunswick actually have on ground. So the Critical Worker Pilot is a great opportunity for skilled workers in health and technology industries who are looking to work in New Brunswick. So I'm going to leave a link um, so you can download your guide to the New Brunswick Critical Pilot Program. We just checked. I'm going to leave it there. So if you're a skilled worker looking to immigrate to Canada and start a new life in New Brunswick, the New Brunswick Critical Pilot Program, Worker Pilot Program, may be perfect opportunity for you. And if you're looking for an opportunity to immigrate to Canada and start a new life, the New Brunswick um, Critical Pilot Program Program could be your chance. So with support from the government and uh, partner employers, the transition will be made smoother and more successful. Now look guys, don't miss on this opportunity. Don't miss. And make sure you stay tuned for more updates on the new Brunswick Critical Pilot Program. And trust me to always bring to you the new updates. And make sure you stay tuned to get new updates on this Critical Pilot Program. So if you meet the eligibility requirements and are interested in applying for the new Brunswick Critical Worker Pilot Program, you can send an email to this email on the screen. And if you want to have a one-on-one -on -one consultation with me, you can go through um, the options Go through the options and link in the description. Also send me an email. I'm going to leave the email in the description box. And I have another video on how to apply 
for the New Brunswick Critical Pilot Program. So you may want to watch this piece and make sure you subscribe to this channel, hit the notification bell so when I drop that video, you will of course be notified. Don't forget to share, don't forget to like. I mean, it helps. It helps the algorithm. It helps YouTube. It tells YouTube that people are watching so they push the video more to many people. So please leave a comment and tell me what kind of videos you want to see on this channel and um, I'll see you in the next video. Make sure you watch the other video because I'm going to be doing a more practical video on how to apply for the new Brunswick Critical Workers Pilot Program. So, until the next time, see you in the next video. Bye for now.